Who are you? Who am I? In the form of me, in the feeling of being a contracted entity, telling a story about a personal life, I seem to be sometimes intelligent and sometimes stupid. When I think I am an object in time and space, then there is me and the others, me and the others, the normal madness, it's called the normal madness, the game of separation, the good and the bad one, the rich and the poor, but who am I, who are you, without this separation, without this contracted state of consciousness, believing to be someone, I'm everything, I'm nothing. I could say that there is the seer, the seeing, and that what is seen. And it is all one. It is not separate from each other. I am all this. And on the other hand, I can say all that I can perceive. Everything I can be aware of. Everything I can recognize or realize, I cannot be. Because I must be prior and beyond all appearances. So I am that what the appearance is. And because I am, everything appears. And in the hypnosis of being a person, the game starts. That there are other persons. And the idea that I can have something or lose something is rolling on. <laughs> but is it true? Who is you? Who am I? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Be still and know? Even that is too much. Who needs to be still and who needs to know? Isn't it all self-evident? <laughs> but in the moment you wake up, you have to realize yourself absolutely. With all dualities of good and bad, intelligence and madness. But it's just a question of definition. And who cares about if you define the world? If you try to bring it in definition, if you long for yourself or not. Wanting to escape is hell. And seeing that there is no way out and everything is as it is, is peace. Om Satchitananda. Tiki 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 taro. La 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 la.